Hey everyone, it was a bit of an extraordinary set of events this week after Prince Andrew decided to put an end to whispers and internet chatter by giving a full and frank interview about his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein, and it turned out to be a, probably the second worst car crash in royal history. I go so far as to say it was actually more cringeworthy than that bizarre royal family edition of It's a Knockout that Andy and Edward conjured up back in the 80s. I guess if I was talking to you from a stage, I might ask anyone in the audience to put their hand up if they'd been to Pizza Express before the gig, if anyone had enjoyed a margarita. Although there is, of course, nothing to suggest that Prince Andrew ever met any girls called Margarita, lovely Spanish sounding name as it is. Hands up anyone who fancied a pint before the gig and went around to the Duke of York. Obviously that would have to refer to a pub, unless a queen or one of Prince Andrew's legal advisers was in the audience and was referring to a meeting earlier that afternoon. You know, my favourite part of the Prince's interview was probably the bit where he denies being able to sweat, apparently due to heavy exposure to helicopters in the Falklands or some nonsense like that, despite dozens of photos of the contrary. When he mentioned an alibi story involving Pizza Express, I was almost half expecting him to wink to camera, put on a Russian accent and claim that the restaurant was in Salisbury, around a corner from the, quote, magnificent 123 metre spire. Nonetheless, he's now been dropped by any organisation, business or charity that ever associated themselves with him, which is a real shame for one reason and one reason only, namely that I quite enjoyed that film The King's Speech, and I always thought it might work well if they did a sequel, where Prince Andrew had to fly to Uzbekistan or somewhere like that in order to deliver an especially difficult and emotionally moving PowerPoint presentation. And now I guess that film will never exist, most likely because it was probably Harvey Weinstein on the payroll to direct it. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.